Hello there and welcome to another Horseman 9 challenge video on this channel. Today's horse is Francesca, who is a great big Strawberry Roan Ardenne War Horse. One of the handful of horses in the first six chapters that have maximum health. But you have to wait until chapter six to get this one. And that's where we are, chapter six. I hope that intro to this video wasn't too over the top. I've, uh, I've always wanted to make a montage to that song. That's a great song. It's from chapter one. It's very dramatic. I don't know what you would call that style. I, I think of it as sort of like a gunslinger gothic or cowboy gothic. But it, it immediately makes you think of these old wild westerns, the films, when you hear the music. And I thought it was a good contrast, this chapter one song with chapter six, Arthur, which is why I put the uh, close up of his face to show sort of uh, the changes Arthur's gone through to get to this point. All right, so I'm just trying to avoid this train right now. I'm not really sure where the water is over here, so let's switch on the mini map. Now, as long as it's not water on the map, you're good for this challenge. And, yeah. All right, let's switch that back off. I don't really like playing with the mini map. Um, I used to a long time ago, but once I switched it off, I found that this forced me to learn the terrain and once you actually learn the terrain, you don't really need it anymore. And uh, I like the way the screen looks without it. For me, it's more immersive, and I find the, uh, the mini-map a little bit distracting. I do still use it, obviously, for some things. It's, sometimes it's smarter to use it. Um, it's not like I'm anti-mini-map. I just found uh, it, it enhanced the gameplay for me to play without it. Now this is one of the biggest horses in the game. It's not quite as big as the Shire horse, but still is a, is a great big horse. And it's not the easiest thing to uh, try to maneuver at high speed through the city. So that's one reason I didn't go uh, through the middle of town. I'm kind of skirting around the outskirts. It's so easy to knock somebody over though. You knock somebody over here, that's like a death sentence. You get every uh, policeman in town chasing after you. I came this way just to uh, break up the monotony. Uh, there's only so many ways you can go, really. Uh, to do the Horseman 9 Challenge, and I I do get sick of going across country sometimes. It's nice to go through the city, see different sights. Easy for it to go wrong, though. You could easily run into a horse or a wagon and get knocked off your horse. All right, so I'm going to go to the left here and just stick to the railroad track until we're well out of town. The speed limit for Saint Denis extends to quite a ways outside of town. So we'll be kind of plodding along until that speed limit runs out. A little bit about the pistols uh, you saw early in the uh, introduction of this video. The gold one is the Otis Miller uh, revolver. It's a Schofield. You can get it in New Austin. I got it during the uh, Angelo Bronte glitch mission in Chapter 4. And as far as I know, you can still do that glitch mission. You need to get a couple of treasure maps beforehand if you want to get the, that pistol. Uh, the silver one is what you get at the end of the Gunslingers mission. Uh, in chapter 2, early in chapter 2, in the small saloon in Valentine, you get the gunslingers mission where you're supposed to track down all these gunslingers. And 
at the end of it, um, you have an encounter with uh, Jim Boy Calloway himself. And that is his pistol. And this is Schofield as well. And I like it that they are both uh, engraved on the barrel with uh, one's got Otis Miller's name, the other's got some Latin writing on it. And That's a good girl. Yeah, they just look, you know, Giga Chad together. I, I just find it pretty cool. They're good pistols too. And I, um, I named this video, uh, or the reference word here is juggernaut, and I reference this word juggernaut because that's how it feels on this horse. Um, in the UK, now I'm an American, but I've been living in the UK for quite a long time. And in the UK, the word juggernaut is also used to mean a semi truck or a tractor trailer truck that you might see on the motorway. They refer to those sometimes as juggernauts. And that's really how it feels when you're on this horse. It just feels like you're this big, powerful force barreling down the road and that you could just run over anything in your path. Obviously the horse is not invincible. It has maximum health, which means it'll keep on its feet longer than you know any other horse. But it will it can be brought down. You know, but still, you know, good girl. it makes you feel powerful yeah. to, to ride this horse. And I, I like it. I like this horse. I like big horses. And I'm not the hugest fan of the Ardennes, but I like this one. When, I, when I'm on this horse, I never want to get off of it for some reason. The uh, Bay Roan. I think it's the Bay Run. Um, Arden, you can get, you know, from chapter two onwards. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of that one. I can take it or leave it. I'll, I'll usually get it for a little while in every uh, playthrough and ride it, but it's not my favorite horse. But I, I really like this one. Now, with this H stamina, even if you have just a a stable saddle instead of a trapper saddle. With its eight stamina, this horse can run all day without getting tired. Of course, with a stable saddle, you'll notice uh, that your stamina core drains away quicker. But still, with eight, I mean, you're good. You can run across the map with that all, all day long. So this is really a, a high quality horse has six speed, but most of the war horses do have six speed. The Andalusians have six, Hungarian half-breds have six, Arden has six. The uh, Mustangs, which are a, a war horse, work horse hybrid, also have six speed. The Turkomans have nine speed, but that's the only one. So, you know, the norm for a war horse is six speed. So this is what you get. Six is a little bit slow, but I don't know, I can live with six, it doesn't bother me. If speed is your thing, I mean, maybe yep. maybe this horse wouldn't be for you. Maybe the turk of mine would be better, but still, just to, to get and ride around for a little while, this horse is great. And I had to sell uh, my Missouri Fox Trotter to get this horse because my stable was full when you get to chapter six. And two of my horses, one of them is the um, Braithwaite Turkoman that you get in Chapter 3. And the other one was the Tiger Stripe Bay Mustang, which you get on the uh, Angelo Bronte Glitch mission. So I was unwilling to let either one of those horses go. And then I bought the Rose Gray Andalusian. And I'm not really... I wasn't really willing to let that horse go either, so I had to sell the... The Missouri Fox Trotter to make room for this one. Yeah, you're doing good. I'm just gonna go right here, take this uh, shortcut through the logging uh, logging camp. But if there's one thing I could change about this game, it would be the number of horses you can have in the stable. You're good. I, I get maybe that early in the game they want to limit it, but. 
there are different ways you could have done it and increase the stable space as you go, like maybe one extra stable slot per chapter. Like in chapter three, you get four horses in the stable. In chapter four, you get five horses. Or maybe you could tie it to um, Horseman 9. Once you do Horseman 9, you get an extra stable slot. Or maybe you could, you know, buy it. Like an extra stable slot would cost you a thousand dollars. So if you wanted ten extra stable slots and you had ten thousand dollars, you could you could buy ten extra stable slots. There's a pity sometimes you spend a lot of time um, with a horse in a chapter. Uh, I'm not one to speed run through this game, so I'll I'll spend forever in one chapter. And sometimes you'll have a horse for a long time weeks weeks and weeks or months even and you gradually get to a point in the game like if you get the Perlino Andalusian early in early in the game maybe by the time you get to chapter four you start thinking wow I'd like to try this horse or that horse so inevitably you might wind up selling the Andalusian to make room for a uh, Missouri Fox Rider or Tuckamite or something and it's a pity because you get you get attached to these horses and then you don't have space for them later. And I think that's something that every every player of this game could probably relate to. Um, I, I, if they ever make a remaster of the game, it would it would be cool if they could change that. All right, I'm going to take my health tonic here. Get that mini map switch back on. It is useful to see where these guys spawn. Uh, you good girl? All right. As long as you shoot through there quick enough, most of the time they're going to spawn behind you. Every once in a while they spawn in front of you, or if you uh, take too long going through there, they'll spawn in front of you, and that can be um, tricky. Okay, um, once we get to Blackwater, I'm not going to really talk anymore after that. I'll just let the um, video play out. So I appreciate it if you chose to watch this video, and I, thanks for watching and all that. So I'll go ahead and say that now. And if you get the chance, definitely try this horse out. Cause it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to ride with, and it's a pretty horse. And it's, it's a good change of pace from, you know, a racehorse or whatever. All right, let me get my gun sorted out here. I think I might need slugs. Let's do slugs in the shotgun, and I might need to change my bullets and my pistols as well. Yeah. I normally use split points because I'm cheap. And, um... I'm going to switch that to Express. Both pistols. So now we should be good. I got an Evans repeater, pump shotgun, and these two Schofield revolvers. And it looks like it should be just over 14 minutes. Of course, I spent a lot of time in San Denis, so this, this horse could have done this challenge much quicker. Much quicker. And yeah, I hope you enjoy um, this horse getting his Horseman 9 achievement and the shootout that follows.